in Syracuse as well. All right, meantime, Maryland and Michigan State do perennial powers for the right to advance to the Sweet 16. And boy, this is a very, very scary sign for state fans. Mm. Kalen Lucas injured, did not return to the game. Tom Izzo saying afterwards there's an 85% chance wow. Lucas has a torn Achilles tendon. All right, second half, Maryland down four. And boy, Gravis Vasquez, one of the best scorers, coach. Well, Vasquez didn't want this season to end, of course. Here he is to the hole to put up. Maryland by a point in late game situation. He had 26 in the game, but next possession for the Spartans, it's Draymond Green, Michigan State back on top. Ensuing possession for the Terps, and Gary Williams is going to go to Vasquez again, and he delivers, but you know what? No timeouts here. You can't call it. How about the execution? Well, Draymond Green there, a big man with the left hand bringing it up the floor. How about showing the ball, the one bounce pull up by Corey Lucius, the game winner. One shiny moment once again. 85-83 <laughs> Michigan State tearing the heart out of Maryland fans. They advanced to the Sweet 16, and I said to you before we came on, on air here, Tom Izzo just wins games. How is it that he seems to win games in March in the tournament uh, more often than not? Well, number one, he's a very gifted coach, and he has a great basketball program. He's an outstanding recruiter, uh, a great teacher on the floor, a technician as sound as you're going to find, and a tactical game coach uh, that also makes the right adjustments, not just from game to game, uh, but over the course of the game, from half to half, timeout to timeout, even in the final possessions, uh, he has a great sense or feel for his team. Intuitively, he makes the right decisions, and a lot of that comes from familiarity with tournament conditions. Five final fours on his resume the national title in 2000 I think with experience just like anything the job that we have you're going to get more poised you make better decisions you see things with more clarity as you go through your career I think the first time for an astronaut into space first time a jockey is in the Indy the uh, Kentucky Derby or someone racing in the Indy 500 physiologically your heart rate your blood pressure your adrenaline is going to be elevated the more experience you have you're going to be a little calmer. You're going to make better decisions, and Tom Izzo, one of those coaches. See how far they can go without Kalen Lucas if he's not able to play. That's a huge Devastating blow. blow. He's right their now. quarterback. He's the catalyst to everything Michigan State does. All right, 85% chance that you said Tom Izzo said that he has a torn Achilles tendon. Can't do without him. Third Iowa gets Michigan State. Spartans moving on on the strength of a last second three-pointer. Let's take you on out to Spokane right now listening to the thoughts of Michigan State head coach Tom Izzo to coach so we will get started with a brief statement from coach Izzo <clears throat> well with a minute and a half two minutes left in a huddle I told my team when we were up I think four or six whatever it was um, we're gonna win this game and it's gonna be one of the greatest wins in the history of Michigan State and uh, maybe that's an exaggeration but if you knew what we went through uh, as far as today with Kay out and, and poor Delvon just had nothing left and these guys having to play a lot of minutes and uh, it just seemed like it was one thing after another and you got to give Maryland a lot of credit. I mean they came back, I don't know, it was 16, 17, 15 and just did a heck of a job and it wasn't our lack of anything. It was a little bit of fatigue, a little bit of uh, a lot of things but I've uh, been proud of a lot of teams through my career, but I think it makes what we went through all the better. And, and so you all know um, why I did what I did to Durrell. I told him in practice yesterday, Durrell, the only reason I sat you in the second half of uh, the game in Indianapolis is so you'd be, have more legs for today. Well, he laughed, I laughed. And he had some legs today because he did a hell of a job. Raymar was unbelievable guarding different people. Corey had the weight of the world on his shoulders because everybody was coming at him. And uh, Magic Johnson Jr. here, or Tragic Johnson, either way you want to look at it, but the guy did a hell of a job. And uh, I just couldn't be prouder of a team, and yet I, I think we beat a very, very well-coached and good team. And, and a great player in Vasquez, and um, I'm just fortunate we're moving on. <laughs> All right, Michigan State student athletes working from your right. We have Draymond Green, Corey Lucius, Raymar Morgan, and Darrell Summers. And let's uh, take questions from Michigan State student athletes. Corey, can you just walk us through that last play and then and the celebration afterward? What did you see on that final play? And, and, and what well, followed? I, 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 it was a great move by Vasquez to get to the rim, and he finished real well. And um, 
Coach didn't call a timeout, and Day-Day pushed it. And, uh, they kind of corralled it all on Day-Day, and I, I think I had the open look, and he hit me, and uh, the time was running down, so I just tried to get it up, and it went in. <laughs> he yelled, Day-Day, 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 because I wanted to be the hero, too, but uh, I had to give it to him. <laughs> Uh, Raymar, can you talk about those last few uh, Maryland buckets, too? I mean, just they were getting those steals and <laughs> just everything that was kind of going on there and, you know, just seeing that lead, you know, just kind of evaporate and putting you in the position where ultimately Corey saved the day, but just how difficult that was. Um, it was devastating, um, especially with me turning it over. Um, but uh, I'm just got to thank my teammates for picking me up and Corey hitting the big shot. Draymond. Before Corey shot, you hit the shot. Uh, what was uh, uh, called on that play? Where you did you look like you knew all along that you were just going to pull right up and shoot that shot with confidence? Can you just talk about that play? Well, the play was for me to screen down for Darrell and then post up and get the ball in the post. But they were on Darrell so tough, and I see why now. He was six for seven from the three, and um, so when he curled off, they were just pressuring Delvon. So I popped up because that's where the open area was at. And um, Williams, he, he laid off a little bit, and it wasn't a lot, but he laid off just enough for me to get the shot up, so I just put it up. But, um, I mean, it's no secret. You know, I, this win, you, you put us back in this situation. Three weeks ago, we, w we wouldn't have won this game. But um, it's a matter of us becoming closer as teammates and better teammates to each other. And with us doing that, you, you can pull games out like this. But, I mean... Three weeks ago ain't a lot of time, but it just goes to show how, you know, we all know that we have one common goal and we want to send our, send our seniors out the right way. It's a great sound right there. Indeed it is, yeah. You want to gel in the month of March, and Michigan State doing that. All right, West Virginia. And